How's it going everyone? It's me Lone back after my honeymoon. Yes, if you don't know, I posted it to the community tab on my channel, but I recently got married and my wife and I went on a trip to Spain. We also went to Portugal. It was absolutely wonderful. I had a great time. And now that I'm back, I am feeling rejuvenated to be honest, to start making videos again. And we have something very special to kick this off. And this is all thanks to Volta Daedalus. He's also known as Rob. You might know him in the Fallout community. He got me this mint condition Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition. It's still in the shrink wrap, if you can tell. And I'm making sure I get this in shot without the bloody bright light. Can you see that light? How annoying is that? <laughs> there it is there. I'll show you the back of it too. And I want to unbox this for you today. Thanks to Rob, I, again, I, I can't thank him enough. This is something that, it's crazy, right? I, I'm sure like you, um, Fallout New Vegas has a special place in my heart. It's a game that I absolutely adore. I got into the Fallout series, mind you, with Fallout 3, but then New Vegas, I completely clocked that game. It was in the phase of my gaming where I was wanting to complete every achievement in a game, and I did that with New Vegas, including all the DLCs. I absolutely adore the game, but the f funny thing is, is that I never got the collector's edition. That was something that always escaped me. And even to this day, you know, when was New Vegas released? Years ago. Even to this day, I still never got it. But now I have the mint collector's edition for New Vegas. And we're gonna demint it, if that's the word, unmint it. We are gonna open it. And I know a lot of people are probably hating me right now because they're like, loan. It's completely minted condition. Just keep it in the box. To be honest, I'm someone that always likes to open things and display them. I mean, like, look at my merchandise collection back there. Everything's open. Everything's out for display. Um, so I want to do the same with this because I've never opened it before. You know, I've never had it before. And I'm, I'm not looking at, you know, selling it later or anything like that. I just want to open it for all of you. So I hope you enjoy this. What I'm going to be doing is keeping the microphone here and kind of unwrapping it in front of you like that. Just so you can hear, you know, you know the, the nice sounds you get when you unwrap something or unbox something for the first time, especially when it's shrink wrapped like this. It's an awesome feeling. So what we're going to do, and I'm making sure this is recording because if I open this and it's not recording, I'm going to do something crazy, okay? So let's get right into it. I want to open this now. I'm hoping that this is a painless process and I can see it. <laughs> Sorry, bump the mic. But there it is. I've just made it so it's not mint anymore. I'm so sorry, everyone. Sorry for bumping the mic. So, look at this. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to ASMR time. Oh, this is great. Look at that. Look at that. Let's, let's pull it back. Oh, it's almost slipped. Hold up, hold up. All right, look at that. So, I'll show it. This is like a, the box just slips out and there's the slip. So I'm making sure this is in shot. This is what the front looks like, okay? That light is right in the way. The autofocus on my camera is horrible, so I'm just gonna keep it all in focus here. That's the front, that is the back. This is a uh, PC edition. It says games for Windows, do you remember that? <laughs> there is the back. I'll show it off a little bit without that really bright light. If I don't have this light, it's completely dark here, so I'm sorry. So what we're gonna do is slide this out. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Whoo, this is, this is nice, man. This, it's a, it's got a good, nice feel to it. I don't know if you can hear it. It's a nice texture. So it says collector's edition there. Um, it's obviously got the Fallout New Vegas logo on the front. Thankfully now the glare isn't so bad because that material is so reflective. This is much more of a matte kind of finish. Um, so you can only see the light, but you can't like not completely see the logo like before. So I'm going to open this right now and I'm going to try and do it in front of you, even if I'm covering my face. All right, so have a look at this, right? I'm going to do this with one hand. Hit, 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 we can do this, hit. Oh, yeah, boy. All right. The worst unboxing ever. I don't have the setup for it. I don't care. Wow, okay. This is probably the art book. Can you see that there? I'll take it out right now. Holy crap. This is insane. I just got to remember that I'm opening this for the first time. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. Fallout New Vegas All Roads 
Dark Horse Porks. No, this is a comic. Look at that. Comic. I'll show you both sides of it here. Um, so if you can see here, it says Fallout New Vegas, All Roads, and Bethesda Softworks, Dark Horse Books. So this is actually not an art book. It's a comic, I think. Because it's called All Roads. Holy crap! That's right, Chris Avalone did this. My boy, Chris, how you going? I miss you so much, man. Years ago, I did a, um, a podcast with Chris Avalone. I'll try and find it and link it in the description if I can. It's on my channel somewhere. You'll be able to find it. St the Pencils by John Diaz. Um, no one else I, I recognize there. But let's just like open a couple of pages. Sorry, I'm just kind of... The year is 2281. In the aftermath of a nuclear war, humanity has struggled to survive. I'm not going to open it too far, but that's like kind of what it looks like on the inside. And I'll show you a few more um, of the inside pages. This is beautiful. How have I never read this before? Hold up. The illustrations are also double paged as well. Look at that. Isn't that... Look, I could go through all these pages, but there are a lot. Here we go. Okay. Someone sitting by... This is... Oh, it's Benny. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'm pretty sure that's Benny. It looks like Benny to me. Right? Does it say Benny? I don't think it does, but I'm assuming that that is Benny. But let's be honest, everyone in New Vegas wears those kind of plaid suits. <laughs> um, what else have we got here? This is, this is great. But yeah, I'm not going to show every page of this because it is so detailed and it's so long. Um, but I will definitely be reading that later. And this is exact one of the reasons why I like to unbox stuff because you never know what's on the inside, right? And now I get to display this behind me. It's going to be great. It's still recording. Good. Good. All right. Let's, let's put this down. No, let's, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It, it almost bent. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so here we go. This is, this is the good stuff, right? I'll show you the inside of it, and I'm going to make sure that this doesn't slip out. Fallout New Vegas PC Games for Windows. This is a Peggy rating, I believe, because it's from the UK. Um, and you've got the Platinum chip. I'll pull that out for you. And you've got some... Which casino chips are these for? Uh, I think it's just poker chip. I don't think it's for like one of the specific casinos in the game. All right. This is, this is great. Uh Bump the mic again. Oh, there's even more under that. All right, so here's like the shrink-wrapped uh, game itself. I already have it. This is, I won't, you know, sh uh, remove the shrink wrap on this because there's no point. Um, but beneath that, oh my God, there's even more. <laughs> uh, what do we got? The Making of Fall, The Making of Fall on New Vegas. Have I watched this? I don't know if I've watched this. I'm going to totally watch it. Should I take the... I'll take the disc out too. It's got to be a true unboxing. Ah, oh, it's, so it's, it's just a disc that says The Making of New Vegas. It's in focus there. That's cool. I mean, I could totally watch that if my PC had a disc drive. Because it doesn't. Because we don't use discs anymore. Playing cards! <laughs> I don't know. I'm tempted to, to unbox these as well. No, I got it. Because it's unboxing, right? I'll remove the shrink wrap on this, so we can see some of the cards on the inside. Um, let's see how this is going to go down. Uh, come on. No, no, it's not, it's not playing nice, fam. You want to do it? There it is. All right. Now put it near the microphone as well, so you can hear it. Oh, just love that sound. Ooh, ooh. There it is. I just instantly discovered that there was an easier way to open that. You know those little drawstrings that over there <laughs> that you can pull? Turned out that was there. Whatever. It's fine. It's open. That's the point. And let's... Ooh, this is cool. This is cool. It's the best way to take these out. I'm going to try and keep them in order. 
come on, all of you, just, just fall out, just fall out. Okay, that's just two more. Hit! Hit! Just one more, hold up. It's the king. It's the king, who's the king? Mr. House, of course he's the king! He is the king! Oh, I almost put it in the wrong way. Look at that! Oh, I love how Benny's the Joker. Hold up. Benny. Oh, you can't. Oh, there you go. Is totally the Joker. That is cool, man. You've got Rex. Oh, do you remember Rex? Rex playing card? President Kimball. I'll pull out some notable ones. The Kings. I'll show you the back of them as well. Hold up. So, the Joker just has the Topps Casino on the back, which obviously makes sense. Um, these ones. Wait a minute. Are these from different casinos? No. Because this one's lucky to... It is! That is sick! Okay, that is a good touch. So, you notice... And I'm glad I opened this, because again, you never would have realized. The back of each of these cards is representing each of the different casinos in New Vegas. So, this is the Lucky 38. You can see the chip there. And then the Ultralux. Remember the Ultralux? Got some secrets about that place. You got an Ultralux one. You've just got, sometimes you've just got a regular playing card. I'll show you that. So it's just like, kind of standard logo. The Atomic Wrangler too. This is, hold up, there it is. How cool is this? Awesome. I, again, I won't show you all of them because otherwise it'll take way too long. I've kind of stuffed up the order on this, haven't I? It, it, it's definitely Ace first, and then it's Queen, and then it's King. But yeah, I'll just do a quick kind of show you that. Again, there's like different ones here. But that is really cool. I really like how the back differs. I'll see if there's another cool one I can show you. I already showed you the tops. Um, that's probably about it. Oh, there's the Gamora. Hold up. There you go. The Gamora. That's pretty cool. Sweet. I love that. I, that's such a nice touch. Good thinking. Whoever whoever decided that, all right, that is some good thinking. I want to put that down for the time being because we are not done. We have the platinum chip for the lucky 38. So you've got 200 there. Does it say on the house? Yep. And then the lucky 38 platinum chip. Again, I'm trying not to... I'm making sure that it's not reflecting too much so you can actually see. That is sweet. And then we got some chips, and I'm pretty sure that that's it. So what might be the case that each of these might be chips for the different... Yeah, so it is, right? The Silver Rush is there, is represented on that chip. 20. The, you got the Atomic Wrangler there as well. Oh, right there. That's pretty cool. What else have we got? I love playing with chips, but I'm not going to do it too much because I don't want to... Pretty sure that's that's the Gamora there. Isn't that... That's sick. I love that one. That's so clean, hey? Sweet. Oh, the tops one looks cool too. Hold up. What I'll do, I'll keep putting them down here. Oh, that the top. I really like the tops one. How sick is that? The tops. Oh, that's cool, bro. That's cool. What's this one? I uh, can't remember that one. Oh, I genuinely. It says something bison? Bison Steve. I do not remember this one. If anyone remembers what that is referring to, let me know, because I genuinely don't know. Obviously, there's the Ultralux. That one's pretty sick. That one's pretty cool for 100. And then this is one of the generic ones. So initially, when I saw these, I thought they were all generic because that one was. But no, they each represent, you know, parts of New Vegas and especially the casinos. That is really cool. All right, man. That's it. <laughs> That was sick. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos. Obviously, my setup isn't set up properly for unboxings. I don't have like a camera down there like Lou later unbox therapy. Um, I've been watching a lot of his videos, so I've been tempted to do one of these. And now I have. So let me know what you think. And until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself and would you kindly. Keep fighting the good fight.